so excited to be joined at headquarters with Detective Masker. She and her family just completed the course, and it was such a joy to have them. And I am so grateful to have her here today to just share her experience about the why and what she got out of it. And, you know, just hearing her personal story, I think, is really helpful for future families to, uh, to take into account when they're thinking about whether or not they should enroll in Teach Me ADHD. So Senior Detective Masker, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. Thank you. So do you mind just kind of just jumping in and sharing what drew you to actually enroll in this course? Um, well, at the time we were having a hard time um, with the ADHD and the, the environment and things that were happening at school and at home. And, you know, we've, We've been talking to the junior detective about ADHD and you know how his brain is wired differently, but I wanted something more where he could participate and actually see other kids that are just like him that have this and you know learn a lot more about the disease mm -hmm. of ADHD and how he can be an active participant in his care. You know, it's not just medication, it's not just therapy sessions that he can actually do things and, you know, um, when he's having a, a stressful time, for example, you know, that there are coping techniques that he can implement um, without me having to be there or his father or, you know, any therapist. Mm -hmm. um, if he's in a classroom and things are getting, you know, what he feels are, are out of control, he can, you know, get a tool out and either do some breathing exercises or, you know, use his calming jar, things like that, that you know, in the past, we didn't have any of those tools. Mm -hmm. So that's what I found most helpful is for him to learn what he can do to improve his situation and just to learn more about ADHD. And, you know, I think what I got out of it was doing the activities as a family and, you know, along with him and to see how excited he would get when he, you know, a question would be asked and he wanted to be the first one in there to answer the question. <laughs> Or, you know, at the last session, having to remember what, you know, you taught eight weeks ago, I was struggling trying to remember. <laughs> and he was like, mom, it's this. And then he <laughs> punch it into the keyboard. So, you know, those were great activities. I'm not gonna say, lie and say that it was rosy all the time. Some days he didn't wanna be there, if, especially if he had a hard time at school that day. You know, our session was during the week. So it was a weekday and, you know, he just wanted to tune out and just chill out. and. But no, he stuck with it and attended. Some days he didn't want to be on camera. And, you know, mm -hmm. I let him be off camera, but still be a participant and listen and, and try to answer most of the questions. So mm -hmm. I think that that's, I just really enjoyed the last eight weeks. Um, I learned a lot about him, actually, you uh -huh. know, through the course and just seeing his responses. And he would ask questions after the fact. And, um, you know, using the tools at school. And I would hear his teachers tell me that he had used some of the tools, you know. Um, so so it was a, a really good eight weeks. Oh, thank you for that. I love hearing that feedback and that um, at, I think that was the real value when I was designing this, because as you know, as a behavioral pediatrician and for my fellow general pediatricians out there, um, oftentimes we're, we are, um, we have to actually refer out for these things, like for parenting support, for behavioral therapy. It's just a lot of different appointments to coordinate. Exactly. And like at least this course brings together some of those elements of education right. and really helps uh, kids become much more aware of Absolutely. what's happening um, because they get to hear it and see it with other kids. Exactly. Too. Yeah. And, and I think it also like when we took your adult course as parents, you know, we learned and got a lot of it out of it from hearing other parents referring to, you know, the things that are happening at home with their kids. Mm -hmm. But I was, always felt like, oh, my God, if these kids could get together and see that, you know, it's not just them. There's mm -hmm. other kids that go through the same thing and, you know, they can learn from each other. And that, that's another thing. You know, they were all remote. Yes, but they could just see other kids that were just like them and you know, jittery on their chairs at the same time and, you know, impulsively wanting to break into class to tell a joke or, you know, so all those things made it more real for him. Like, you know, I'm not any different than any other kid. It's just my brain works a little bit different. And there's other kids that go through it too. So it doesn't make me any different. It's just, you know, something that I have that other kids don't have. It's nothing bad necessarily. Yeah. It's yep. just different. And, and so can I ask you the whole Zoom component? 
Yes. Like, how did how did he react to that? I mean, was because, you know, we're at this stage in, you know, in our society where everything is on Zoom and, right. you know, we went through remote learning. And I know a lot of kids didn't really like that. How was it the fact that when you heard this was a Zoom class? <laughs> right. Right. I mean, it, it's hard. He doesn't enjoy Zooms. Mm -hmm. Like even when, you know, we have a, a telehealth visit, he'd rather wait. Mm -hmm. and have a, a real physical visit but he didn't mind it this this with this class i think because he, we were participating with him that helped it wasn't just him sitting you know for an hour by himself um, we were all participating in the class um, and again seeing other kids in the class also helped um, you know it, it wasn't always perfect it wasn't every day you know every week he didn't want to be ready to go it was be, be a struggle sometimes to get him on but once he got on he got a lot of, out of it um i gave him the option some days if he was just you know just out of sorts because he'd had a hard day at school or you know just wasn't feeling it he could turn the camera off or i'd be more in the camera than him mm -hmm. but my requirement was that he attend and listen and participate and you know he punched in all his um answers to the questions <laughs> i never helped him with that aspect of it um, and I think that part of it was exciting for him. Like, well, I want to get it first and I want to get it right. And, you know, I'd be like, you know, make sure that you text it, um, type it correctly. And, you know, he'd be like too quick on the draw to just get the answer out, even if it was spelled incorrectly. But, but he got a lot out of seeing other kids participate and seeing him get the right answers and what other kids picked up from that as well. Yep. Yeah. So there was an element of fun and yes. that interactive piece made it fun for him too. Exactly. And and I know that right before we we uh, went on uh, live, um, you did mention that prior to this, you know, you and your family had been managing eight with ADHD for a while. So you're not a family who is just newly diagnosed, oh, no. right? No. But But you had said you had been reading books, you had been doing other things and what really drew you to this particular course? I guess because it's it's like like when we did your live course, you know, mm -hmm. with other parents, being in the room or being with other parents, I think helps us get outside of ourselves and listen to other people's perspective and other mm -hmm. people's experiences and puts things in a in a new frame of mind. You know, when we started your course, you know, we might have had a rough month and thought, oh my God, we're terrible parents. We're not doing this right. Or, you know, we're not managing it properly. But then when you sit in a room with other people who are going through the same experiences or maybe different experiences or more difficult experiences, then it puts your own life in perspective. And that's what I wanted for him to be able to see, you know, yes, you're having a hard time at school and yes, you know, you have to deal with bullies and, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, there's other kids that are going through that too. Mm -hmm. So what can you do to, alter you know either your frame of mind or your experience at school so that it doesn't it's not a horrible day every day mm -hmm. and i think just being around other kids and seeing you know boys girls older younger i think it helped them realize and feel less alone and i think that that's where the learning came just from seeing other kids and doing activities as a family and encouraging you know things that we talk about you know don't eat candy or eat well, have a balanced meal, having a, a class talking about, you know, what is a balanced meal and would get his buy-in so that that night it's not asking for pizza. It's like, okay, I got to have a green vegetable and a red and a, and a yellow. So, mm -hmm. you know, creating his own plate so that he would want to eat different things where before it was always like, mm, mom wants me to eat this. Now yes. it's like, oh, I need to eat this because it, it helps me. Yeah. So just all those lessons, you know, putting them into practice, I think, is is what's most helpful about the class. You can read about it in a book, but, you know, in one ear and out the other, but versus hearing it from from you that you're familiar to him and, you know, he trusts you and he knows you and then seeing other kids doing it and and just even posting, you know, his his accomplishments on on Facebook. You'd be excited to see his pictures you know, on the group <laughs> chat to see, oh, look. I accomplished, you know, whatever the, the mission was this week. 
It yeah, was very excited. That is so important. And again, for those watching, it's a closed, exclusive Facebook uh, community that parents have the accounts, not the kids. Not the but, kids, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's so important, I think, to celebrate those wins because yeah. anytime you're trying to do behavior change, it's hard. And yes. taking those baby steps and acknowledging the steps in the right direction exactly. is such an accomplishment. And these kids just need those wins. They need uh Absolutely. They need to see that, that they can yeah. do it. So, yeah. you know, and he, he even, you know, like I was talking about the, the project, the, the touchdown. Oh, the launch, the launch pad, the launch pad project. You know, he was more excited that I actually got something done. And he's like, so <laughs> proud of me. Like he, you know, at the next class, he was like ready to go and wanted to take the phone to show everybody. This is what my mom did this weekend. <laughs> like, you know, like he was also proud of missions that didn't even really technically involve him, but that. I had to do or, um, you know, the other senior detective had to do and yep. just to be excited to complete those missions was really, you know, a highlight of his week. Oh, I love to hear that. And, you know, it's been an absolute joy getting to know you and your family and then, you know, having you welcome the other detectives as they come in. You know, part of this course, when you purchase this course, um, it gives you six months of ongoing support. So the class itself is only two months, but you know, I've been really being intentional about bringing in guests and speakers beyond that. So that way families can continue to learn and grow. Questions that families put in there, help me think about, oh, well, gosh, I need to do That's this. I need to bring someone else. Right. Right. And so it's been really great to kind of watch what comes of this right. and i just want to thank you being part of that community being such a great addition and supporting the other fellow families because as you said we're all learning and exactly. growing together yeah i mean i've been on other facebook groups that you know of parents with kids with adhd and you know just learning what other parents are dealing with or you know solutions you know for example the the sleep component you know mm -hmm. that parent that asked that question and then i gave my perspective and to a couple of other parents and then you had the doctor talk about it mm -hmm. come online and do a session to talk about that so i think that's very helpful and you know whenever i can i talk about your class because <laughs> i got so much out of it and i think parents would get so much out of it by participating um and along with the kids just to learn and and Part of the community and just like seeing what other families did and you know other kids and posting their picture with their plate you know for the night because they <laughs> ate the vegetable for the first time my goal was to get my daughter also <laughs> involved but she, she wasn't interested in, in participating in the vegetable experience but you know at least the junior detective did and you know was able to to learn a few things from that yeah session so yeah and and there was also other activities that we included the other siblings too, even if they yes. weren't officially uh, enrolled in the course. Exactly. You know? So yeah, you saw the glitter jar. You know, he yeah. was so excited to make his glitter jar. Then his sister wanted a glitter jar, so we had to go out and buy all the the <laughs> stuff to make her her own. And I am, ended up making my own. I'm oh, like, good. I like this little. <laughs> I like this glitter jar. So you know, some of them became fam family activities for sure. Yeah. Well, any other last minute words to share? with those watching this video about just you know the course or just the community and any th last minute kind of takeaways i mean i think like i said it, it, it's that sense of community that sense of learning from each other it's not you know we're not in an island all by ourselves other people are going through it so hearing and seeing and and learning from other people has also been invaluable and um that's the part that i enjoy and still you know watch your lives i was on the live a couple of weeks ago and you know just seeing other parents getting a kick out of that session and mm -hmm. interacting you know it, it helps to put everything in perspective sometimes we we kind of focus on whatever the behavior is at the time or you know whatever the struggle is and i think having a course over that long a time eight weeks is a pretty long time mm -hmm. but it didn't seem like it because all the missions were different every week we were focusing on a different aspect of it so it never got old it was we knew that the next mission was going to be something completely different right. so this week it might be about nutrition the other week is might be you know like you know um calming um things to do in the in class that he got a, a lot of away from it you know um, counting deep breathing with his fingers and things like that that we we hadn't been practicing and he hadn't been practicing and, and just mm -hmm. learning all those things have, have been really, really good yeah. for our family.
Yeah, and you had mentioned too that the eight weeks goes by fast. But again, that's why we at headquarters we offer up to six months of ongoing support because you know you practice one thing and it's not one and done. It's something exactly. you've got to keep practicing. And and life is messy. You know, we all fall off the wagon at times yes. too. So I mean, it's just great that we have this supportive community to help us all get back on track and recharge right. and and right. cheer each other on. So. And I think it was helpful too that you gave the option that if we had to miss for whatever life happens, you know, yes. there were a couple of Mondays where we couldn't make it happen, and we tuned in on the Saturday, the Sunday class, and having other options to do other days mm -hmm. and still kind of stay in the flow of of class was really helpful too. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a, it's been so fun having you, and again, thank you for taking time out on this holiday weekend um, to share and, and your experience. It means so much to me, and I think this video will be really helpful for other families considering joining the All Deeds Help Detective Agency in the future. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.